During practice on Friday, there was a big incident between Spain and Emirates GBR. It was fairly clear that the Brits were in the wrong. Thankfully, no one was injured, but the umpires penalized the Brits, who now start this event on minus eight points. And there was more fallout as GBR also suffered a four-point penalty on their season standings. Yeah, there was an incident today. Certainly a bit of a what is now the elephant in the room of our, uh, our practice day. Port starboard with, with the Spanish and we crossed them on starboard, tacked over uh, and the comms were that we didn't have any, 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 any issues as we were on port tack and then by that time, I, yeah, I had no idea if it was up or down or where the issue was and we ended up having a, what was fortunately quite a light, light coming together with them. It could have been a lot, lot worse. It's tight in the middle. Oh, there could be a collision Ooh. in the middle of the line there. Oh my word, Rockwell, Denmark and Canada, Rockwell, Denmark had to keep clear. Denmark must get out of the way. You can, I think it basically, I'm surprised the way Denmark are setting their crew up here. There's no one down in that lured position looking as we come on board. That's the front, the bow of the Danish boat. There'll be water going in through there. That's why they've got to get the boat in. It will be taking on water, but of course, great safety measures here. So the boat will be safe, but they'll be keen to get it out of the water as soon as possible. But yeah, mistake on there. They, they didn't see them, but I just think they could use the crew better in that position, positioning wise, to actually be able to observe what's around them. It's so chaotic in the pre-star. New Zealand need to get into that boundary for protection. All the boats start to turn, but they've got to keep clear of Australia Ooh. there on board. Canada, big, big contact. What? That was unthinkable there. They weren't in the boundary. I don't know that Canada can turn in front. That's a massive incident there. Oh, oh my major word. Major damage. Major, major damage to the Australian boat. Our bow was heading straight for Phil Robertson and his crew and I had to sort of make a decision, we're gonna hit something, and I just turned hard onto the mark. Really badly damaged our boat, the whole front beam snapped, we can't get off the finish line marker. I'm sure our board and hulls are really badly damaged. I had to go back and look at it to see if we had a different option, but yeah, for me, it's pretty unfortunate the way that all set up. You've got you know, 10 seconds from mark one to a boundary, and you've got six boats all compressing there and then they've got the finishing marks there at the same point just doesn't make much sense why we did that and if you look at it like playing it through slowly like you couldn't have gone any earlier like, well i just i just knew spain were there yeah. and then right. and then kinley i heard kinley say spain set up but it was after we've already gone no problem, top right of screen. New Zealand have the right of way. Switzerland have got to miss them. Wow, tight, wow. tight moment there. Oh no, love loss. And the Swiss are high on the foils here. They're going to be loose on the mark rounding. Oh, it's getting messy on board that Swiss boat. Look at it go. Oh, 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 oh. Big ease on the wing needed. It's getting fast and loose out on the race course. Sorry, mate. I'm full. Hear the crowd on the shore. That sounds like half of New Zealand standing up to applaud them. And they bring it straight in towards the Adrenaline Lounge here in Littleton Harbor. All of Christchurch on their feet. Say hello to your winners. It's the Black Foils with the win. 